Well, hello YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel, Mike here, and welcome to day five of our fossil hunting expedition to White River Badlands in Nebraska. And as per usual, we're starting out in a different place. We haven't hunted here yet this year. Doesn't look too impressive from where I'm standing, but I'm in a bit of a valley. The Badlands go on that direction for a long, long way once we get over this little rise. Doing radio checks right now. And we're going to grab our equipment and we're going to hike in and see what we can find. Hopefully it's going to be a good day. We are hiking in carrying all our equipment. We're trying not to damage the grasslands too bad by making a lot of road trails through it with our trucks and ATVs. So we do a lot of hiking to get to the areas we're going to hunt. If we do find something big and heavy, we can take the ATV over to pick it up. But then we'll just be making one track there and back, basically, without doing a lot of damage to the rancher's grasslands. Grasslands, that's what they make their living on, raising their cattle. So, as per usual, we found a sort of central location to drop off all our supplies. There's all the green bags and other stuff over there. Buckets, cargo nets, sticks, whatnot. The green bags contain burlap, plaster, and water, so we can jacket our finds. We've all split up. There's my wife going up a hill over there. There's my guests over there. Other people are other places. I've got my own hill over here to explore. But Leslie and I spent a fair amount of time on this hill last year. There was a lot of stuff eroding out. Nothing terribly spectacular, just some rib bones, titanothere size, but uh, yeah, I'm going to explore this hill and see what we can find. Maybe I'll do a little better than yesterday, where I didn't really find anything, but other people found spectacular stuff. So, we'll see. So, my wife and I have been really busy since we got here. We hiked all the way over there and looked around in those hills over there and really didn't find much anything. And we're back over here looking in these hills, and she just hollered at me and said she found something over there. So I'm going to hike over there and see what she found. Hopefully it's something good, because so far we haven't been doing too good out here today. So here's what my lovely wife Leslie found. There's a big rooted tooth right there. Looks like rhino to me. And if we come over here some, look at this jaw section. Holy cow. So she can uh, excavate these properly, preserve them, and I'm going to look around and see if there's anything else here in this immediate area, and uh, hopefully we find some more of these critters. Well, Leslie has collected her rhino tooth and is going to foil jacket her, looks like half of a lower jaw of a large oreda. So, that's what she found. And amazingly, I've been all over this area around here. And these are the only bones or teeth I've seen in the whole area. So, good, good job. got here first. Yep, got here first. Yep. So, Steve and Nancy found a small tortoise. Much smaller than Lisa's, which is good. That's great. So they're going to have some lunch and finish digging it out and jacketing it. Good job. Well, it's getting out towards mid-afternoon. A couple of people over there. I think Cena over there. Lisa over there. And then we're over here having a little break and a snack and a drink of water. And uh, 
According to Leslie's smartwatch, so far today we have walked 4.7 miles. And how many flights of stairs? 17. 17 flights of stairs. So we're getting our exercise out here. I personally am not finding much. Leslie's already found some good stuff. But, uh, you know, I found a lot of great stuff on our first day out here. So I'm pretty happy. But I'm going to keep looking. Maybe find something spectacular yet. So I think break time's about over. I think we need to get moving again. Yet another exploded tortoise. Seen a lot of those today. See how it eroded out of the hill? And then uh, freeze thaw cycles, frost heave, and just erosion have washed it all down the hill in pieces. Too far gone. He has brothers still in the hill though, but don't see him peeking out yet, just starting to erode out. That's what we need, just starting before Mother Nature destroys him. Well, it's getting late in the day, but I'm going to keep looking as we go back to the trucks. We've got some tired fossil hunters over here. Well, that too. I guess uh, you're part of the club that didn't find anything like me? I found a titanic here. Uh-huh. A lot of pieces, but I got it all. Okay. And you're dejected. Okay. All right. That's just no pleasing some people, I guess. Yep. Heading back to the homestead at the end of day five. Ooh, bumpy. I'm being dusty. Well, this is a fine state of affairs. Um, we've had a couple days of heavy rain, and it may not look terribly wet here, but out in the Badlands over there, oh, it's going to be sloppy, nasty, if we could even get down the roads to where we want to hunt. So I don't know. This would be the last day we'd have to hunt. I don't know if we can even get out. So... We've been sidelined for a couple days due to the rain, so this may this may bring the hunting season to an early end. We'll see how it goes today. It's supposed to rain again this afternoon too, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see what the group decides to try to do. Whether we want to try to go out and hunt again or do something else today. Collecting tumbleweeds for the back people back east who don't realize they're just a pest, an invasive species, and annoying. But they think they're cute, so they want some tumbleweeds. Good Bill. <laughs> oh, my wife enters the fray. That's pretty pathetic, Leslie. Yep. <laughs> the locals are driving by like, look at these idiots. Thanks. No. <laughs> Look at them all caught on the fence over there. Yes, Steve. That one is completely eclipsing you on my camera. Yeah, it's a joke. It's all a joke. You gotta check yourself for ticks again. Right? These still be easier to spot. Probably from me. So we got a jacket capping party going on today. Capping all the jackets so that they can uh, ride home without damage. Strengthens them. Found a fair number of things this year. Lots of jackets to cap. So I put you in tech squad today and see if he's willing to do it. And if not, 
if you just want it to travel just like that, you just a simple tap just so it won't bite right now. Lots of plaster and burlap. Well, it's pack up day. All the jackets and all the fossil hunting stuff's got to get packed away and taken back home. And we're all working out here industriously on that. Um, the tumbleweeds that were collected for people need to go. Somehow get them home without destroying them. Good luck with that. And uh, we'll be pulling out of here later today. I think it's been a good trip. Everybody, I think, found some good stuff. I just found all mine on the first day. And after that, it was kind of slow. But everybody found some good stuff. There's Lisa's gigantic tortoise back there. Taking up a good part of the trailer. And we're going to have a lot more jackets going into this trailer. So yeah, it's been a good trip. Just capped. More jackets appearing by the moment. Ready to go in the trailer. Head back to Florida. Steve, was it a good year? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, there's all the jackets. Jang it into the trailer, except for the ones that Leslie and I found. They're in my truck. So, uh, got a big piece of plywood here. Going to set it across those four five-gallon buckets over there and uh, make a second layer for all the other lighter weight stuff that's going back to Florida. They've got a system. <clears throat> they got a system that's been working for 20-some years. So, on the whole, yeah, it's been a really good trip. Badlands Division did good this year. So if you found this video at all interesting, educational, informative, inspirational, whatever, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to see my future videos. There'll be more videos on fossil hunting and other, lots of other stuff. And check out my second channel. If you're at all interested in electronics or retro computing, you may find something of interest there, too. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching this one. we got to hit the road. Bye.